What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection Series 73, Daniel Bryan. And so here we have Daniel Bryan posing out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually take a look at what he comes with. Daniel Bryan does come with three pairs of hands. We do get a pair of fists. We do get a pair of grip hands. And then we also do get a pair of wide open hands. Daniel Bryan does, of course, come with his very own WWE World Heavyweight title, which looks really good. I do like the design of this title, and as always, it does fit around his waist. Other than that, Daniel Bryan doesn't come with anything else. I don't know what more you would want with this version of Daniel Bryan. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually move on to his details. And so here we have a closer look at Daniel Bryan, and I will say this. This is probably the best Daniel Bryan face that we have ever gotten from Mattel. And we've gotten some pretty terrible Daniel Bryan faces. We've got some okay. But this, this is probably the best that they have ever done, hands down. The best Daniel Bryan head sculpt we have ever seen. Really do like the way his beard looks. They did capture the shading just right. It is lighter and then it does get darker. Although it could have been better right here at his jaw but for the most part it does look good really do like the angles that it looks like Daniel Bryan it's really hard to find a bad angle in which this doesn't look like Daniel Bryan really do like the hair on this figure one thing I am glad Mattel stopped doing is painting Daniel Bryan's face flesh color that was one issue I had with so many Daniel Bryan figures that the head was cast in brown plastic and then they just painted flesh tone so where they needed it. Glad gone are the days of the hand painted Daniel Bryan faces. Now if only we can get luchadors to have real effects that would be so amazing. But that's neither here nor there. Let's actually take a look at his attire. Taking a look at his wrist we do have white wrist tape which is the signature for Daniel Bryan. Nothing too spectacular there. He is wearing his black trunks. As you can see, he does have red line work going throughout the entire attire. Not the most flashy that we've seen, but it does look good. Taking a look at his knee pads, which continue that uh, red line work with the black knee pads. That continues nicely. We, of course, do have the painted calves, which I'm perfectly okay with, seeing as how it does look like it's one complete piece we of course do continue the red and black motif right here the red line work going down his kick pads which that does look good although I don't know how I feel about the uh, flesh color hinges um, I guess you could have made the hinges black but then his knee pad his knees would be black when you lower his knee so I don't know it's really hard to decide how to go about that but really do like the detail on here. The paintwork is pretty clean. As you can see, it goes all the way around both kick pads. Really nice clean artwork for here uh, here on Daniel Bryan. Excuse me, I can't speak today. But I do like the way it looks. It's not the most flashy attire that Daniel Bryan has worn, but it's it's something. I I think I'd prefer the new Daniel Bryan's look over some of his previous ones, especially the weird flower thing he had when he started but anyway that's the new Daniel Bryan for you so let's actually get him compared to other figures you may have in your collection and so here we have Daniel Bryan posed next to an elite Brock Lesnar and a basic Jeff Hardy here we have Daniel Bryan posed next to AJ Styles and somebody supposed to be Kofi Kingston and finally here we do have the new Daniel Bryan posed next to the Wrestlemania 30 Daniel Bryan so with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually take a look at Daniel Bryan's articulation. He does have a ball joint in the head, which despite having the hair and the beard, he it actually does function really well. I do like that. It, of course, does look left and right. And surprisingly, we do get head tilt on him. So despite the fact his hair is a little bit longer, it is rubbery. It's not the softest rubber, but it does get out of the way, so it does move all the way around. Although his beard will hit his sh his traps, not his shoulders. So really good range of movement on the head, despite the hair and the beard. Arms, of course, do go out to the side, no problem. 
go all the way around. They swivel at the bicep, have a single bend in the elbow, swivel and hinge at the wrist. No issues there. We do have an ab crunch which goes back and forward. We get a waist swivel. Legs do kick forward to about there, go back, out to the side, no problem. We do have a swivel at the thigh. Double bend at the knee, although his knee pad does hinder some articulation. He, of course, does swivel at the boot, has a hinge in the ankle, and, of course, we do get a substantial rocker ankle on this Daniel Bryan figure. So, overall, really like the articulation here on Daniel Bryan. It's what we've come to expect from elite figures. So, with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. So here we have Daniel Bryan posed for my final thoughts and overall really really excited to have a new Daniel Bryan figure. I don't mean new as in his gimmick, I just mean a new Daniel Bryan figure to have in my display. Because let's face it, the elite figures that we've gotten from Daniel Bryan in the past really haven't been that great in terms of face sculpt and it's not by any fault of the sculptor, it's the fact that they kept molding his head in brown plastic and painting the flesh tone. I'm really glad that Mattel has thrown that out the window and decided to go with flesh colored head and paint the facial hair on. That's the way it should have been done in the past and I'm really glad that they're still that they're doing that now. This is probably the best looking Daniel Bryan figure that we got. I know we did get to see a Daniel Bryan, uh, I forgot what it was, it, it was a SummerSlam series which I believe was 68. I really did not like that head sculpt and the fact that he only came with open hands and pointing finger hands really wasn't something I was really into. The fact that this Daniel Bryan comes with three pairs of hands as well as his very own world heavyweight title, I think this is a much better figure than that other one. Now if you are looking for Daniel Bryan, Elite 73 is still in stores at the time I'm making this video so check your local Walmarts, Targets or wherever you get your figures from. I got my entire case of Elite 73 from Ringside Collectibles, so a huge shout out to them for getting this out to me so I could review it for you guys. He will run you about $19, and that's pretty much standard for all Elite figures, but I think he's a really good addition to your collection. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other WWE videos. Hopefully, you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos, and as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.